Hello, hi, it's Liz here and today I thought we would do one of my favourite things, a little bit of watercolouring. Just some easy, loose, beginner friendly watercolours um, and make this belly band. Super easy, but I think quite effective. I really like it. Um, I've got the perfect page in my journal for it. And uh, yeah, so what you need is something to watercolour with. Today I am using my pencils. Wait till I just move the water out the way just now. Then put that to the side. So yeah, today I'm using my pencils. I have the Derwin Ink Tens uh, watercolour pencils. And um, these are my very favourite. I have used these for many years, all during my card making um, magazine commissions days so they've done me well and uh, yep so I've picked out a few colours a nice little mix and uh, just the same colours as I, I used there and uh, yeah so just put the pencils to the side let's put everything in its place I am right handed so I do like everything to the right side. I've got some water here, um, not very clean water but it doesn't matter and you'll need a piece of watercolour card or mixed media card. I just use the cheapest hobby craft. Um, it does all sorts of watercolour, acrylic, um, yeah it's kind of, it's mixed media but it just is sort of like watercolour card or watercolour paper. Um, yeah, I actually use this a huge amount um, and this is just a new one I had to buy because I ran out. <laughs> so we're just going to do loose heart shapes. I can't draw for toffee so don't be put off by the fact that you need to kind of draw a heart shape. We're going to paint the heart shapes first and then use a fine marker pen. Um, like one of these just to squiggle the lines and make it into more of a defined heart shape and um, this is a letra set 0.7 fine line drawing pen black um, yeah so we do that in step two so just choose one of the colors and just move up to the side there so that I can get my water and my let me just line that up for you so I know the purists would say oh don't wet your brush your um, pencil because the wood will rot well I have to say I have had these pe pencils for now let me think it must be 15 18 years and yeah, nothing has happened to them. They, they haven't run off in horror. <laughs> okay, so we're just doing a kind of simple heart shape. A kind of modern elongated heart, if you like. And I sort of like to start with the with a kind of M top. And then just kind of, you know, just do whatever, whatever takes your fancy and then just give it a little bit of a colour in. The pen, the I keep wanting to call them pens, the pencil watercolour will dry in a little bit paler. I think that one will do me for my first one. Um, but we will go back and we will add a little bit of shading so again we will just do a kind of M shape and then cover it in now how easy is that super easy and then let's do this one It's 
this is quite a pale colour. Oh, I should have told you the colours. This is tan. That green is leaf green. And that blue is navy blue. So, there we go. I'll just maybe make this one a little bit bigger. I seem to be going smaller in size there. But it doesn't matter. It's all... You want that kind of devil may care <laughs> look. A kind of, you know, they're not exact. It's all about just being a bit, not rough and ready, but, you know, that style where you're, you've not done anything exact. You're just kind of doing it. There. And they are all different. Now, of course, if you have a heart-shaped stamp, then, you know, and you like the look of things being quite regular, then, of course, you could stamp the heart. But, and if you didn't want to do hearts, you could do, I actually gave a shot of squares and circles. I've cut out, well, I've kind of trimmed off the squares, but I haven't done anything with the circles because the hearts for me turned out so well that I thought I'm just going to go with the hearts. Um, and so that's what I did. And a purple. I'm going to do six hearts because that is the size of the belly band. So if you've got a longer journal page that you want to put your belly band on and um, then obviously you can do more hearts or less hearts if it's a small page or you want to overlap them a wee bit more. Right, so that's them all had their first little layer. So let's find the navy blue again when it's here. And this time maybe just a little bit less water so that we can add maybe just a little bit of and then clean off the brush and just maybe pull that colour in a little bit. Just so that you've got a little darker shade. And again, a little bit less water. Pick up the colour. And this time, just kind of maybe leave the edge a little bit. It kind of gives it that kind of... And if you want to leave tiny little white spaces, like there's little white spaces... Just by luck, because I never really thought of that there. Um, now, what colour was that? Did I do the green up there on the... Do you know, I think I did the green. Oh no, there's the tan there. Did I do the tan on the green? <laughs> I don't know what I've done. I think I did the tan on the green. Yeah, there's the tan there. Well, we can always go over it again. Let's do some green. I'm not sure if I did. Yeah, that's the green. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, sorted. And this one is the brown, which actually looks kind of orange, but once we use less water and do that, it will definitely look brown. And this green, it's kind of teal green which is 
Yeah, to your game. Maybe put the darker colour down this side this time. And the last one is purple. And you might think, oh, they don't look much. But it's amazing how well how much the how well the, the black liner oh there's I don't know if you heard that there Millie's just got up out of bed and is having a bit of a shake <laughs> so I think I'll go back and do a little bit of the navy blue just that blue just looks a little bit wobbly there. There we are. That's better. So that's our painting done. We'll just give that a bit of a dry off, put the water back there, put the pencils back there and just shuffling along here trying to make room. Don't want to bury anything. <laughs> under anything that I'm going to be using. So this actually gives, de gives um, not detail, yeah, detail and definition to um, our hearts. So we don't want to kind of draw like a whole outline like that. We want to kind of, you know, do a kind of, not a squiggle, but Kind of scribbly turn it a scribble like that. Don't need to start in the same place. And if you feel, I don't know what's wrong with this pen, but it's not doing its job very well. There we go. And did it on that first one. So, just, it's hard to describe what you're doing. Just try not to think about it. I think and although you might think oh that's not working out so well once they're cut out I think anyway this one is no yeah I think you know I think it's a little bit wet up there Sketchy hearts, and then it's just a case of a quick, a quick cut out. Usually, at this point, I would already have had a set of hearts cut out, but I don't so. And maybe sometimes I would put the camera off or edit. Well, I don't really like editing and I'm not all that. Um, I'm not all that au fait with the edit procedure yet. 
I can stop and start, but don't be asking me to cut bits out. So, it tends to be with my videos, what you see is what you get. Um, although I might stop it to go at some point to the sewing machine, which we will do in the next step, or near enough at the next step. Um, and then just join the two videos, the stop and start together, that's easy. But I do find it quite, I don't know how people do it, do the stop and start thing. Do the, um, you know, take bits out kind of thing. Mm. I think it would be easier if I made really such such a faux pas as that I would want to edit it out. I think for me, it would be easier just to start again from the beginning. <laughs> mm. So you can see how easy, I'm not really paying a huge amount of attention to going near the edge because I still want my sketchy black lines to be shown. So I'm leaving a little bit of a white border, but I'm going to show you what to do with that. And two shakes of a lamb tail. This is my bin. I don't have a proper sized waist bin yet. I keep looking for one when we were at Ikea and I didn't see anything that I liked. I'll uh, maybe get one in Home Bargains or somewhere. I'm going to use my Messy mat for this step because I'm going to add a little bit of stamping to grunge them up a little bit. Just to add some of these um, little uh, font stamp and a little splashy stamp that I've got. So I've got these two stamps here and I've got a little bit of black sponge in my VersaFine and I'm going to just gently ink the edges just to give a little bit of definition. So, oops. So all these steps Start to make your heart look a little bit more defined and a little bit, I think, grungier than what you probably initially think when you've just drawn. Because I, me personally, can't draw, like I said. And I always think things I draw by hand look quite childish. But... Once you've added your kind of steps, I think anyway, that it just starts to look like the bee's knees. Right, so that's, I'm just going to put that over there because I'm going to start getting a little bit inky here. So this was just, I think this was just part of a little set that I just keep on that little block now because it's a handy wee stamp and uh, I think it was maybe free with a magazine and all I'm going to do is just just nick the edges maybe do one or two little bits just now, if you don't have this kind of stamp, obviously you could add splatters with your paintbrush of black ink or or you could even go white ink. So, yeah. Right, I think that'll do for that. Just wipe that black ink off before it goes everywhere. And this little scripty stamp was kind of much the same. It's lost its parents, its acetate 
and the rest of the stamp set but I think it was part of a freebie and again just on the edges just tiny little bits and so you can see the stamp starting to take shape and you start to lose the feeling that oh, my hearts aren't very good <laughs> well that's how I feel about them anyway <laughs> well my hearts aren't very good what am I going to do I can't draw but as it turns out your hearts aren't bad at all right so that's the stamping done and let's just wipe this and then we don't need that anymore. We can take them off the messy mat and just put the messy mat on the floor. Okay, so the next step is to mount them onto a piece of book page so we've got our hearts and we want to display them on some book page I am using this book which I've had for a while and um, let's just find a page that has by and large some just some writing I think, and maybe on the back of something that I won't use, if you know what I mean, the, um, I don't want to use up an image, <laughs> that I might use in future, here's a double page of just script and this will do nicely I got this I don't know and it will have been in the charity shop here we are £1.99 so two penny off £2 and I have to say I made a whole um, black and white nature journal with it a while back and uh, oh, that's it on the floor and uh, yeah, so I think we'll do it about the same size as this one. So I'm just going to get a pencil and we'll just take a wee note of how big we did this one because I'll just do it the same size just for ease. So that to there and to there. Um, trimmer. There we are. Right, we don't need them anymore. Put them over there. Okay, so we can trim off that bottom. That the little notch we made. And we can go down. And this one. There we are. So that should be just put the trimmer over there, about the same size. Close enough. Right. And we know, of course, we can just place these. And you can see how it's starting to take shape. But this is quite flimsy for a belly band. So I'm going to mount it on to a piece of black cardstock. And I just want to leave a little edge. I'm not fussed about an edge at the top or the bottom. I'm just going to put an edge at the side. 
So we'll just put a little pencil notch about there. And about there. And again, oops, I will trim this to size. belly band and also gives us a nice little contrast. Let me just rub out my little pencil mark. I went, usually I go to the, the side of it slightly and then I don't get a pencil mark. But I have misjudged that. Anyway, that's it going. So it fits there like that. Like I say, it brings out the black that we've added to the hearts. So I'm just going to give this a little bit of a glue. And I'm just going to glue it along the top, along the bottom, and kind of up the middle a little bit. Because I'm going to be stitching down those sides. That's just a little prit stick. They were on offer in the supermarket, so I grabbed a packet. It was three Pritt sticks for, oh, I don't know how much it was, about a pound or so cheaper than normal. They're the smaller size, but it doesn't matter. I still looked at how much I was getting. This is 22 grams and the bigger one was still dearer. <laughs> right, so the next step is to take it to the machine and give a little stitch down the sides. Now, if you don't have a machine, just take the same black liner pen that we used and we can draw either a dotted line or a squiggly line or, or a zigzag. You can do all sorts of full stitching. And uh, yeah, so yes, that's fine. Right, I'm going to the sewing machine. I shall be back. Okay, quick straight stitch down uh, the two sides and we've left a little bit of thread. Um, I quite like that. So now we just have to decide that we're going to put our hearts just in a kind of, maybe a kind of loose um, waterfall down the centre there. And just jiggle them about till you're happy. Happy with that. And let's just glue using here is my glue hook. Here is the glue book. So it was absolutely torrential rain this morning, but it has brightened up. I was going to go to the fabric shop and get fabric to lengthen the curtains that I have bought because the windows here are, and I have, think I've mentioned this before, Far too long for ready-made curtains, so I bought nice curtains and I'm just going to add a piece of contrasting fabric or pick out one of the colours, they're kind of teal and cream and beige leaves. So I'm going to pick out one of the colours and just add a big border at the bottom and they'll do the bedroom until I see how that works out before I plump for <laughs> doing something to the living room and um, 
Yeah, so I was going to go there, but it was absolutely pouring down. And I thought, it's going to be a nicer day tomorrow. I'd rather drive into uh, where the fabric shop is when it's dry. So, yeah, so there we are. Yeah, so now we just need to pick out a nice word from the sticker book. And that will be the belly band finished. And then I'm going to put it in to the book, my journal. Because I've got a nice journaling card that I want to journal on to. Oh, that's at the back there. Um, I'm trying to look for something nice that's maybe got the three or four words that I can split up because I split that one up. That was one strip, collect beautiful moments. And I thought that would be quite nice doing. I think I've used this before, creativity takes courage. I think I'm going to do that. So this is the Tim Holtz small talk. And we will just snip it there and there. And I'm just going to give them a little tiny boost of glue because they're quite small. And I think we'll go lower down this time just to make them a bit different. And just because it's on different kind of card, they might not stick all that well to that watercolour card. So, yeah, happy with them. So, I have my journal here. And I have picked out... A page. Let's see where it is. I've left the journaling card in the page that I've picked. Here it's there. So I am going to put them up. Have you got everything? Yeah, I think I have. I'm going to put this one on that page inches back to back from that little fold out which is fine so i'm going to put it there this one will go in the box as a spare and then i've got my little journaling card and i'm going to put this little business card on the back of that and do a little bit of journaling so let's do some glue along now is the pit stick don't think it's going to be. So at long last I am opening, oh I should have done this, does this need to be, does it have a sticker on it? Is this open already? I see a sticker around here, do you have to? Yeah there's something on the inside there you need to take out. Do we just, what do we do here? Wait till I get my pokey tool, I'll be back. So yeah, inside had a little cap that I managed to poke out. So, we'll just go, ooh, a nice new one works well. <laughs> and 
Lolita in there. Ooh, lots of string in our new one. Gonna get the cap on quick before it bubbles. I don't know why that glue does that, but and I've got a string across the middle. We don't want that. Okay, so we're just going to centre it a little bit. Right, and we'll just give that a second to take hold. And we will do our little bit of jungling on a pre-made. This was a while back. Um, this Project Life card, which I decorated up. So we'll just put this on the back. So this is just actually just opened round the corner from us. Punts pot, Pots. It's in Sinclair Drive, and uh, which is just the, the drive that's at right angles with us. And at the top of Sinclair Drive, there's a little row of shops. There's um, the French Monkey, which I think I've got a... There's Grain and Grain just round the corner. And then I think maybe I had a French Monkey sticker. Not sure, maybe not. Anyway, um, a little coffee shop. But th this, these guys, um, it's a plant shop, but it's also got pots um, that they paint. And they host pottery painting parties, that's easy to say, creative workshops and fun events in our Southside studio. Um, you can also shop our hand-painted pots and plants. We'd love to connect with you, catch us below. And they've got um, puntspots.uk, but they're on um, Instagram and they're on Facebook. So I'm just going to stick that like that. And this is this little uh, logo is actually above the shop. It's been painted uh, above, you know, the shop window and above. What's, what do you call that? That bit of the shop? The shop name? And it's got this painted on it. And I'm just going to glue this down. And just put it maybe there. And then I'm just going to add a few words that this shop, um, what will I put? This shop just opened around the corner. One, and then I'm going to put one day I will paint a pot. exclamation mark so there we go this shop just opened around the corner one day i will paint a pot and i'm just going to slide that into this is stuck i shall slide it very carefully because i'm not sure that that's entirely stuck down but we can slide that in there oh that's nice. And I can put that out and remember. Yeah, pants, pots. Collect beautiful moments. And I'm sure if you go to one of their workshops and you paint a pot, it would be a beautiful moment. <laughs> right, so that's us, I think. I we'll need to find a place for this. But in the meantime, it will go in the box. I'm wondering if I want a little bit of fabric down the side there or a little tag to pull it out. I shall maybe think about that because it would be nice just to have a little bit of fabric down there. Maybe. Anyway, that's for another day. Okay, so thanks for joining me today. If you've enjoyed the video, a thumbs up would be great and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.